Carl Benz. Ah, the Benz of the car, which okay. was a early Mercedes Benz motor car number one. It's Interesting. Three wheeled, gas powered, horseless carriage. That's what they called it. It was a horseless carriage. That's kind of funny. That's really funny. They're like, check out this. This is technically a 1984 horseless carriage. There we go. <laughs> Just four wheel powered. No horse. I mean, there's a. That is still logo, funny, but... too, that like, like still like you have like we'll talk about in either today or in another one. Um, Like Ken Block, he's got his 1400 horsepower. Huna, Huna Pegasus. Huna Pegasus. Yes. And like horse, yeah. 14. Why? 1400 how much power does this thing have 1400 horses yeah. oh why 1400 horses? horses has never been yeah it's like yeah. it's just so yeah. funny that still it's kind of funny thinking back horsepower. to the roots of like what we we just put engines yeah in horse carriages right right so like right. and they were that's that was like, probably the hottest right. advertising yeah. then it was like this has the power of five horses well, with and, no horses yeah and, <laughs> like, yeah that's what with they zero it. of the poop yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to the Third Pedal Podcast. I'm Zach. I'm Jacob. Welcome, Welcome. to the show. Live from the Porsche 944. <laughs> live from Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> live but, but not live. Anyway, we've been, sorry we've been slow on episodes still. We've been taking it chill a little bit. It's been summer. Yep. You were on a road trip. Yep. Um, we're doing home projects and stuff, but thanks for sticking with us. Um, we have some funny stuff we can't wait to talk about today. Yeah. Keep sending stuff. Yes. We're getting messages and yes. I think we have a few things to look at today. Yep. So keep sending it through. We love seeing those messages. Mm-hmm. Love seeing people out in the wild. Yes. So keep on sending that stuff for us to react to. Um, on that note, you have a story. Yes. You to okay. So I was on a road trip. We we uh, flew to Vegas and then um, immediately left Vegas <laughs> and just did a, hit a bunch the of right stuff on the way. The right way to Vegas. Way. Yes. We, did, we spent 45 minutes there during the daylight <laughs> and then we're like, peace. We're out of here. So um, we did a, a bunch of stops on the way back. But one, I thought one thing that was funny, well, there's a lot of car stuff with that, but uh, one of our valets at one of the hotels we stayed at in Colorado. Um, so started off, this story kind of starts off a little funky because so um, we get there like, I don't know, 2 a.m., something mm. like that. Like every every hotel we got to, it was like super late. Okay. Just because of where we were in the road yeah, trip yeah. and everything. So we get there at like 2 a.m. You know, it's the the night worker who's at the <laughs> desk, doesn't really know what's going on. He just checks us in and we're like, and we are, we're in an RV. Okay. So we're like, hey, where do we park our RV and this is like a real tight town. Gotcha. It's not like a big hotel parking oh, okay, lot. Okay, okay. They have like a few street parking spots and then like underground parking because it's like all jammed in there. And uh, he's like, just leave it out front. That's fine. Like, just park. He's like, just park it sideways so it's out of the road. Okay. And just park it there. Okay. So like, whatever. So we go in there and we're in there late. So we sleep in. So we're not out of the room till like nine nine thirty probably okay. something like that. Okay. And I go out and I have to get something out of the car, <laughs> out of the RV, and. It's not out front anymore. I'm like, oh, it's kind of weird. And they just gave me the keys. Like, oh, okay. oh, I think it's still out front. And I oh, go so out you there. Oh, you leave the keys with them. Yeah, you so leave the keys with them. So gotcha. Repark it if they need to. Gotcha. So, so anyways, I, I get the keys. I go outside and it's not there. And there's this guy walking around moving cars. And I was like, hey, do you know where this is? And he just starts laying into me. He's like, you know, you can't park that thing here. It's a huge liability oh for insurance. Gosh. Like, you, I had to move it and I had to park it somewhere else. And we're not allowed to park it there either. Like, you guys got to get here and you guys got to get out of here oh now. Gosh. Like, you cannot park here. Yeah. And I'm like. It, I just woke up. Like, <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet. Just like, okay, I'm dude. like, all right, man. Like, just tell me where you parked it. I got to get something. And he's like, told me where it is. Whatever. I walk like three blocks and yeah, go get the stuff out of it we yeah. needed. So, anyways, fast forward the end of the day or whatever. Yeah, a couple hours later, yeah, we're yeah. checking out. He ends up being pretty cool. Okay, so he, we're we're just caught him in a bad and, time. <laughs> yeah, so it was. I'm sure, like, I was like hindsight looking back, like it's his job, and it probably yeah. is a big liability. That's true. <laughs> they can't have this big RV That's park true. there. That's true. So I'm like, it's whatever, it's fine. <laughs> like people have bad days, and whatever. I don't know how his morning was. Yeah. But anyways, um, he's helping us load our bags and and stuff like that. Gotcha. And, um, he was talking about we're telling him about a road trip, and he was talking about he's like, I used to drive Vegas to LA all the time. I worked for BMW. Oh, wow. I'm like, really? I'm like, what did you like? What do you mean? Okay. He's like, well, I used to. He worked for the dealer. He used to deliver cars and stuff. Oh, cool. So. There was um, Rabbit Valley, I think it was called, where we rabbit drove Valley? through. Okay. I, was, I was talking about. He's like, "Did you see? A, did you guys hit a bunch of rabbits?" I was like, "Is that why it's called that?" He's like, "Yeah, that's why it's called what? that." Yeah. So he's like, "I would drive new, like, high end BMWs, yeah. like to dealers in yeah. in LA for sales." <laughs> so he's in like new M3s and stuff, yes. ripping. So through. he's he's like, it was awesome because I could just rip through. You know, the roads out there, it's all just flat, straight yeah. for like hundreds of miles. Oh he's like, gosh. I would just rip through, and he's like, I had to stop almost every gas station and clean rabbits off of the front. 
Like clean it out of the grills and what? stuff. What? Because he would just be mowing them. Oh, she's, he's just hitting them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you know, they jump out in front of you. <laughs> and he's, you know, if you're going, whatever, triple digits. Does that not, I thought that would destroy the front of it. Yeah. Really? Oh. Not, yeah. That's yeah. gross. He's so just sitting you, up there with the scrubby. Just... Yeah. <laughs> so if you bought a new high-end BMW in the last 10 years. Out in LA? From LA, <laughs> you may have some rabbit hair in the grill somewhere. <laughs> In the intake or whatever. Oh my gosh. Was like, that's oh, funny. That's awesome. That's so, crazy. Yeah. So that ended well. That's a little bizarre, bit of conflict, dude. But it was good. That's funny. But wow. You had a good time on the road trip though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. Good. Lots of driving. It wasn't like, uh, I, I say like we should redo that trip yeah. but with fun cars. Yeah. Because it was just an RV. When you, you found know, that like, sweet road, wherever that yeah. was, Zion Park. Yeah. Or something Zion like that? Mountain Ranch. It was yeah. pretty similar to Tale of the Dragon as far as all the switchbacks and yeah. stuff like that. Cool. Um, And there was a mile and a half tunnel going through the mountain. <laughs> Like that would be <laughs> yes. I just wanted to open, and I'm in the car we rented was just a Ford. Uh, it was it, it was the cheap, whatever. Yeah, the Ford version, the Walmart Porsche the or whatever. Porsche. Yeah. yeah, the Porsche. The that's Porsche. what you said. That looks like a Cayman or Macan or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're just in that, and it's a turbo boost, yeah. or turbo whatever they call it. Yeah, yeah. Eco boost. Eco boost. So it's whatever. Probably a one point four liter or something. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it was nothing special, but so I I ripped it with that. But yeah. it's like you, that would be fun to go back though. You sent that and, screenshot, and it looked like it would be a super fun just i mean not even it's like with tail of the dragon it's like you can't really go that fast but it's right. just so exhilarating yeah, it was, like, it was turns the same as tail of the dragon like 30 mile an hour speed limits yeah okay oops is that going to be in the way uh, okay. it was like 30 mile an hour speed limits um but that was enough yeah 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 know, for the yeah you could still fit probably especially in the ford <laughs> yeah yeah it felt a little bit like, ah! yeah it was not a car you want to go fast yeah but it would be so fun in our yeah cars. we, we should definitely do that that would be super yeah. fun there's a lot of jeeps I guess it's mm. like an off-roady sort of area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there wasn't like, like wasn't a lot of car anybody. stuff. No, interesting. I didn't see anybody really going for it. Interesting. I wonder why. That'd be interesting. We should look up yeah. some videos and see if that's like a thing. I, did, I tried. Really? There's nothing. Okay, yeah. we'll be the first. <laughs> yeah, we got it. That's what I thought. It's like so if, you, if we go get like buy some shirts <laughs> so that we can go send us out there and we'll be the first to race it. Yeah, we'll take. I mean, race, race your the race, park rangers listening to this. Yeah. Then uh, races. Uh, what's what is a race really? You yeah. know, that's what exhibition snails, of speed. Right? I think that's what they call it on the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a race is. <laughs> we will be driving spiritedly at the speed within limit. the speed limit. Yeah. Then what's what do they usually allow? Like twelve percent? Uh, I don't know. More I don't know if they, they allow no percent because oh. we don't need margin of speed limit. Yeah, that's right. Or that's anything. Right. <laughs> that's what the back of the shirt says. Actually, like drive slow. And drive. The speed I feel limit. the need. The need for speed limits. The need for speed limits. <laughs> Okay. But anyway, we celebrated the fourth <laughs> here in the U.S. Um, within the last week of filming this, so a couple weeks till this comes out. Yeah. Um, but in celebration of the fourth, I found a really interesting Fourth of July thing. But you had something you wanted to start and talk yes. about with the Fourth of July in general. So happy Independence Day, everybody! Hope you celebrated well. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Fortunately, but, we're in a German car, but it's still yeah, cool. It's okay. It's <laughs> it's, it's we got the Jeep outside. America won. So yeah, this yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> So this is ours now. <laughs> By transitive properties, this is now. <laughs> but anyway, you had something you want so, to talk about, and then I have some. I can't wait to tell you about it because I finally found the story behind something we've actually shared in an earlier episode. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So with Fourth of July celebration, and everything I wanted to reflect on America's vehicles, and more importantly, why America is the best. Boom. <laughs> Boom. America. <And>, <laughs> We'll edit that in. Eagle thing <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. So real quick before we get canceled, why don't you tell us what you mean by that? <laughs> okay. So why America is the best with cars too, with our manufacturing. So yep. not necessarily our manufacturing, but the products that we put out. Mm. So, and it's because we have this. <laughs> it's so weirdly we specific. This, well, when we talk products, I mean. We're talking about products. We're talking about vehicles. So the dichotomy of fuel efficiency that yep. we have here. Yep. We are the leading edge of electric, like high yeah. fuel efficient vehicles with yeah. Tesla. Yeah. Right. We also still make Hellcats <laughs> as like a very popular vehicle. So we have like the best and the worst yes. on efficiency and practicality and stuff like that. But even we were talking before, like yeah. even with Tesla being full electric, yeah. they're still like, like, yes, they're the most, I guess, quote unquote efficient yeah. because they're all electric yeah. um, cars, but they're still like faster than anything right so it's like okay yes our most fuel efficient cars will also be faster right. than everything in the world right and every single model of theirs like they don't make one that's like a prius yeah. tesla yeah, yeah. they could absolutely just make an economy yeah. car that'd probably but, be super easy for them to just focus on that not mess with speed or anything yeah their lowest that end is model funny. is still the model three yeah and the base model is i guess just rear wheel drive yeah yeah 
but like but still rear wheel drive they still it still does like five seconds or less zero to 60 right right. and every i think it's funny too every single one of their vehicles in in their lineup yeah they advertise the speed of it zero to 60 zero to 60 top speed (laughs) yes all that stuff and they're like range is you know it's range yeah it's whatever you'll get there yeah but it goes like that's a byproduct but enjoy the car while you have it Yeah, yeah i think that's awesome that there's the focus on that and like every i don't know i mean we even because Ford was the first, like that was the first car, wasn't it? Ford's in the early 1900s. I think so. I thought Ford Motor Company was the, the Model first. T or whatever. Yeah, I, yeah. Thought, I could be super wrong on that. Far from was I. Recent when we did the episode where we talked about, you're gonna look it up quick. Just gonna hold this um, here. When we were Not talking cool. about like when Audi started, I think it was Audi started in that German quiz we took a while ago. Like that one. Looking back, how far that started, I don't know if I'm right on the Ford thing anymore. But I mean, there's like a lot of a lot of the innovation, a lot of like engine technology, things like that. It all came from early experimentation here, and then now that now it's like we have both. We have the craziest cars, and then we have the most fuel efficient kind of things going on too. And it's interesting. Yeah, we got the whole spectrum. Like obviously, we're looking through this as the lens of the lens of bias because we live here. Yeah, and we love it Mm -hmm. but we also don't get a lot of cool cars right but the ones that we make (laughs) right are awesome yeah so yeah yeah i hate that part too that it's all this i mean i just saw what was it some wagon uh was it the m5 estate that's coming out now and they're making it but it's only m3 estate now then they're like unfortunately this is i just saw something too on the volkswagen truck they're like here's the new volkswagen i saw that too yeah i guess we're not gonna get it here i'm like come on yeah what are we doing but anyway i think we will get those eventually because um if you look at some of the new trucks coming out, like the Honda Ridgeline was always kind of a funny, like yeah. fun of truck. Yeah. But that is essentially an SUV mm-hmm. with a truck bed. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then Ford just came out with their Maverick. Yep. Same kind of thing. Yep. It's a SUV with yep. a truck bed, yep. essentially. Just that because it's not yeah, a, it's a these box like on mini frame things. type of yeah. truck. Yeah. Like a rich, uh, whatever. Yeah. For whatever reason, Classic the mini trucks truck. are really popular. Yeah. Which, so, which is kind of, I think it's the evolution of like SUVs. Like I have the SUV outside, the, um, the Forester, and right. you've got the Tiguan. Mm-hmm. And like they both can't do suv things really like they can't tow anything they're not yeah. they're like big cars they have the right. car engine in they're it they're more like crossover yeah type of, yeah but yeah. it's like bigger stuff like americans like to whether we like it or not americans like to drive bigger like chunkier cars so i'm sure these trucks yeah. are kind of the next version of that of like you still get the utility and you don't really need to tow that much right it's a truck bed you um, get to use a but, truck for what 99 percent of people use trucks for which is picking up furniture right picking up a few things at home depot right you know like weekend project type right. stuff. right 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 and if you need the big hauler thing you get a F two fifty, right? Exactly. Like turbo diesel, exactly. So to go back to who invented the me. car, um, Carl Benz ah, invented the car, which okay. was a early Mercedes Benz motor car number one. It's Interesting, three wheeled, gas powered, horseless carriage. That's what they called it. It was a horseless carriage. That's kind of funny. That's really funny. They're like, check out this. <laughs> this is technically a nineteen eighty four horseless carriage. There we go. <laughs> Just four wheel powered, no horse. I mean, there's a horse that is on the still logo, funny but. too. That like. Like still, like you have, like we'll talk about in either today or in another one. Um, like Ken Block, he's got his fourteen hundred horsepower Huna Huna Pegasus Huna Pegasus. Yes, and like fourteen hundred. Why fourteen hundred? How much power does this thing have? Fourteen hundred horses. Yeah. Oh, why? Fourteen hundred horses? horses has never been. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's just so yeah. funny that still it's kind of funny thinking back to the car. roots of like what we we just put engines yeah. in horse carriages right. Right. So like, right. and they were, that's that and was like, probably the hottest right. advertising yeah. then. It was like this has the power of five horses well, with then, no horses. Yeah, and, <laughs> like, yeah, that's what with they rated zero it. of the poop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just weird. No, that's a little like, submissions. I know that there's yeah, other like, the yeah, yeah. I know that there's like other <laughs> measures for horsepower that other places of the world use and, and everything. Yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. Like There's that. like other stuff, but it's just funny to me that it's still widely held. Like, right, this much horsepower, and it's like we have some weird idea in our mind of what that means, but like. Well, and what horsepower. is the, the actual measurement is not like one horsepower is not the power of one horse, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? I think so, yeah. Like I it's don't, not I've a heard one it to explain, one. but it's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's not a one to one. Yeah. It's like we screwed it back yeah. in like early marketing days, right, right. screwed the math up <laughs> yes. a little bit. Yes. So they could, so Carl Benz could go out there with his yeah. number one yes. and be like, this is the power of five yeah. horses. Yeah. And really, it's like, one well, because even Tyler, he, didn't he just send us yesterday that like two horsepower blender? Yeah. I don't think, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why are we doing blenders and horsepower? That's an American thing right. for sure. Right. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of an American thing. Yeah. Um, so this tradition that I found. Um, so apparently in Alaska, there's this tradition that for the fourth. So in the fourth, uh, for the fourth of July, if there's a few people who listen to this podcast who are from other parts of the world. Yeah. Um, so if you don't know, it's our Independence Day celebration. 
Um, we don't all just blow our hands off of fireworks. No, some that people do. A, that is a key note part right. of it. Right. <laughs> but no, it's 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 a cool thing. Like every town across America will do you know, fireworks. Obviously, the whole yep. fireworks show, except for this place in Alaska, which does something way cooler. What? Um, What's cooler than they, fireworks? This. The her they hurl cars off of a cliff. What? So the title is "Watch the Fireworks as Alaska Town Hurls Thirteen Cars Off a Cliff." This is <laughs> That's their thing. This is their annual July Fourth tradition. <laughs> like fireworks are a little expensive. Let's Why don't take we just do cars? Old cars and so, just throw them. I wanted to find Glacier View River Retreat in Anchorage, Alaska. So this is the one we did at like early early episode. We were talking about. Uh, it was a Taylor Dragon episode. We were like when we were there and we okay. were recording and we edited that clip in of I think Tyler was like, well, like we're going to go straight off the corner. Oh, and then yeah, it was like, yeah. that car falling what's up? going on? It's like an explorer just like yeeting off yeah. the edge. <laughs> you, yeah. That's from this. That's so <laughs> that's they have two different that. methods for launching cars. Yeah. So they have like a train uh, rail system. Mm. Um, that I think they just pin the gas or whatever on. And then the other is they ratchet strap the steering wheel straight and then just brick the gas pedal. So it's all unmanned, obviously, and yeah, it yeah. just launches the thing off. But yeah, they, all, so they all gather like throughout the year and stuff. They had one come from Utah, I think, this last year. Where was it in here? They had, this like, is one... on the 4th they do it? On the 4th. This is like their fireworks. This is their thing. They go sit at the bottom of this ravine yeah. and like sit with their like lawn chairs and everything and they all set up there and then they just launch these cars <laughs> off of the cliff and watch it. And That's then afterwards amazing. they go around and they clean them up. They put them on trailers and then they bring them out to like recycling centers sure, or whatever. Yeah. But but yeah, this is like the thing that they do. So Probably they... less waste, honestly, than yeah, the right, fireworks show. Right? Like, have you ever seen like the aftermath? Yeah. Like all the crazy. cardboard and like yep. crap and stuff yep. laying around. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, they like literally like this one here. Like they will have RVs with them. They spray paint the cars and decorate them, and then That's they do amazing. a little show in town before they do it, and like show all the creations that everybody had together. It's like the gumball rally, yeah. But like for breaking, but them. so much cooler, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so I thought that was pretty like awesome. It has to be able to drive under its own power. Yeah, yeah. This is what it came from Reno, Nevada, as part of the Caravan of Carnage. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so yeah. So, anyways, that's their tradition for the fourth, that. which is kind of cool. That, that's like, pretty that's awesome. That's the thing. So, I thought it was like a one-off thing that we had seen yeah. that somebody did that, but but yeah, apparently nope, just every year they're just every fourth. Cars. So, I really want to go there for that now. That would be yeah. really really cool. That'd be awesome. But, How cold is it though? Uh, it's probably. Not, I think this is during the part of the year where they only have sun. Oh, okay. But we're day for 180 days. Yeah. Right. <laughs> But yeah, this is their little bullet points on it. Charming event each July 4th. Launching cars, trucks, and RVs off a cliff down a 300-foot ravine wow. to their doom. Started in the early 2000s when someone hit a moose and needed to dispose of the wrecked vehicle. That someone <laughs> had imagination. So <laughs> and it was all downhill from there. It's so awesome. Um, they love nature, so it goes without saying when the party's over, what's left of the vehicles is taken to be recycled. But yeah, it's just it's awesome. I forgot about that, though. Yeah, that's how it. it started. Somebody hit a moose, and they're like, like I disposed of my car somehow. <laughs> got to wreck it completely. I, hey, I, don't guy, still, like, they I hit say a that. moose. We got to get rid of this car. <laughs> like, when someone hit a moose and needed to dispose of the wrecked vehicle, like, what? That sounds <laughs> that's how like... You're dispo like, how much is it to bring it to the dump? Oh, they're all no, going to be You this. know what that is? That's what they told the cops <laughs> when they came. We're like, why did you just throw this car off the cliff? <laughs> Like, well, I had a moose, had a moose. <laughs> and I needed to get rid of the car. I imagine they talk kind of Canadian, Probably, yeah, right? It's Alaska. Probably. Um, Either so Canadian they just or Russian. It off the cliff. So that was like the police description. <laughs> like that was their excuse to get away with it. And then they're like, why don't we just do this every year? <laughs> That's <laughs> actually pretty cool. It's kind of fun. They like sat there and they just like, <laughs> and they're like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> the little like American flag yeah. popped up behind everybody's head. <laughs> or like <laughs> as it was going off the cliff, all of a sudden the eagle just flew across the horizon. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> And they were like, just, yeah, just a a <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this anyway, is what we do now. It's a happy fourth. That's awesome. Um, so what do we want to hop into? Do you want to do my license plate thing next? What do you want to hop yeah, into? Yeah, tell me about that. Okay. License plates. Yeah. So speaking of freedom, this is not it. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh. So <laughs> this... Um, we're taking a hop so, across the pond for this. <laughs> yeah. So let me... I'll read the title and then we'll talk about this a little bit because I did a little bit of digging. So controversial digital number plates on is on... Wow. Nice. It is at this moment right Jake realized he cannot speak. <laughs> <laughs> this coffee needs to get inside faster. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, controversial digital number plates on the way with GPS tech. That's the statement I meant to say. So, okay. digital license plates. I don't know if you've seen these at all. There was a video on TikTok about one um, on a Tesla that this guy had it. Okay. Okay. So it's these. They're basically. I'll put a picture here. 
This is the e-paper displays. So they're the e-ink, yeah. the same thing that we saw in that color-changing BMW. This is a less cool way to use that. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Less cool technology. You so, literally have a Kindle on your back, yeah. like on your trunk. Yeah. So they they can be battery-powered or they can wire directly into your car. So it's kind of neat because everything is taken care of digitally, like your, mm -hmm. your registration, registration yeah. all that kind of stuff is all taken care of. There's also something that I think... I don't know how this doesn't get used incorrectly, but there's, it's not any of these pictures. I'll post a picture of it. Like on the bottom, your little message that like here is like America's Dairyland and like oh, all that sure. kind of stuff. Yeah, you yeah. can customize it. Oh. So you say whatever you want, which sounds mm. bad. Um, People will abuse that immediately. I'm, immediately. So th that part, whatever. And I think, I think you can still have custom numbers and stuff like that. On it. Like I think you can still yeah. buy a custom plate for right. it. Um, but the thing that's getting sketchy, so like that all seems fine. It's actually legal right now in five states in the U.S. To use a digital. Um, yeah, to have one of these digital plates. It's from this company. I can't remember the name of it. Don't want to shout them out anyway yet. But Good on them, though. I mean. Yeah. To pass legislation to like get it there, you're saying? Yeah. 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 So Good business move. The sketchy part, and I get why they advertise this, but there's been a couple slip-ups where people have said something that makes you like, what'd you just say? So <laughs> the car can have like telemetry data. Um, integrated in it. So I think as far as like accelerometers, GPS, stuff like that oh. for the owner. So like you can purchase this from their website for, for I forget how owner. much. Yeah. <laughs> That's where this goes. So you can, yeah. so it's got all the data from your car, whatever, as far as motion and things like that yeah. goes. Um, they're talking about having some integrations too, as far as like, uh, like tracking how many miles you drive and trying to keep up, like kind of like the maintenance interval kind of a thing. They've mm. talked about some things like that. But then where it got weird was like they were interviewing... I forget one of the states um, where they were talking about like these being legal and stuff mm -hmm. and somebody had let it slip uh, where they're like, yeah, and it's really great because then like if your car gets stolen, the police can track it. And they're like, huh? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, and they and can like, even what? watch like how they were driving and stuff in the meantime. And you're like, what? <laughs> so I don't know what the back door looks like, like on that, but it raised like, go back. all these questions. <laughs> go back. Yeah, yeah. We're like, excuse me? Yeah. They're like, no questions, no I have questions. questions. So... It seems cool because, like, yeah, whatever you can digital license plate. That's kind of neat. It said yeah. even like with tolls and stuff, like it'll just mm. it'll be your iPass built into it for yeah, tolls yeah. and things. It seems but, super convenient because, like, I just ordered custom plates for the first yeah, time. Yeah, it took like a month and a half. Yep. for them to arrive. Yep. So I'm it does take a while. Like, obviously, the registration was updated. Right. Like I paid for the I paid for the registration update. Right. And the custom plates at the same time. Right. Like, I actually mailed it in because you had to do a little form thing. Right. And Which is so funny, right? Then you got to do your backup things and stuff. You check it online and then you got to yeah. go fill out a paper form. And they're like, if yours is taken, which one do you want to use instead? You know, right. Like, oh, okay. It's like, well, I, I just did the one. I'm like, I checked it like six yeah. times. Nobody else has used it. Yep. So sent it in and I got maybe like a week and a half later, I got like the actual like registration back oh, that sure. said the plate on it. Sure. So I had like the registration for my glove box and everything yeah. if I did get pulled over. But then I'm driving around till, so my plate expired in June. I'm driving around till July with an expired plate, <laughs> technically. And a plate that doesn't match your registration anymore. Right, so I show my registration, it's like, well, yeah, that plate's updated, but this yep. isn't that plate. Yep. Like, this plate's dead now. Yeah. So if, if they scanned it ever, it would show a dead plate probably. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, like, That's that funny. would fix this. Right. Like, the convenience part of it would be right. super nice because you could just go, oh, I'm just going to buy a new plate. Right. Like, I'm sure revenue from the DMV for custom plates would go up like crazy. Right. Because if you could just hook it up to their website right. and you could go on there and maybe it's cheaper because they don't yeah. have to actually print the plates yeah. out. I'd so, hope it'd be cheaper because it yeah. doesn't mean anything It's like 75 anymore. bucks for a custom plate. Which yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't know. I didn't think it was that terrible. Yeah. But yeah, if it's like 20 bucks, right. whatever, to change your plate every time, you can just constantly, right. whatever, keep right. changing your plate well, if and you want to. It maybe doesn't matter as much to change your plate because if you can have that custom message beneath it. And I don't, mm. that's the thing I couldn't find total clarification on is it looked like there was messages you could choose from. I don't know how custom you can go with it, but some of them seemed so weird and so like unique that I thought maybe you can punch it in. But sure, but I'm it's got if all you can make there. like a little like cheat thing for your dash. So if someone's following you too close, it's <laughs> like back off, dude. If they can <laughs> read the, the subtext underneath your license plate, yeah. <laughs> that'd be bad. Yeah, but um, but anyway, you so, got a little keyboard in here. You're like, this guy's driving me crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Type the thing. In. Well, that Get was like that. Tail. Um, what was that truck? The ugly. I hate it, but Tyler liked it a lot. I forget the name <laughs> of that truck. Um, but that with the light bar on the top, and you can put messages in that. And you're like, oh, oh sure, not bad idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so this is that's what the heck is coming. Um, it seems kind of sketchy because they let that slip. Yeah. It'd be really cool. Like they there's a different version of it for like fleet vehicles. So sure, if you've got like sense. a bunch, yeah, that totally makes sense for that. Work vehicles make sense. It just gets weird as far as the privacy thing. I'm like, what is your right to privacy with something right. like this when you have a government issued plate on your car? But now if it's digital, do they have access to that? Because that's a huge yeah. invasion of privacy and right. all that, all those questions. In the well, they can just, so 
the scenarios we're thinking of are you get pulled over. Right. And they don't even have to, like, you know, ask you. They don't have to do right. the whole thing. They don't right. even have to scan you. They just hold their little thing to the back of your car. Right. They're like, oh, you just went in the last 15 right. minutes, you went. Right. Over oh, the it looks speed like you went much. over the speed limit six times today. So we're just going to say, or maybe they don't even pull you over. They anymore. just it's mail a you a ticket. Right. Right. Because it knows GPS location. Like, right. So that was, I didn't realize how far advanced, like, GPS tracking speed limits has mm-hmm. gone mm-hmm. Does that, if that makes sense mm-hmm. so the rv we were driving was i think it's from like 2010 or something okay. like that okay um and anytime you go over the speed limit it would go through all the speakers you are over the speed limit so what because it, it had gps built into it but so that really yeah wow so it would like say and it would like of course not be super accurate for construction zones or sure. like things that have different speed limits temporarily sure sure but, sure. but like so for the most part it was pretty that's odd. already all there so like, yeah, this would be easy enough where right. I'd be more like what they have that in Europe kind of right where it's like just the speed cameras. It's oh, like, right. Right. You don't get pulled over maybe a lot, but you yeah. just get tickets in the Yeah, middle. Illinois has a lot of those too, like for yeah. rolling stops and stuff right, like that. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, they could totally just use that. Right. Ticket revenue would go through the roof. Right. <laughs> it would be like, right. there'd be no more like test going out and testing your car. Right. Or whatever. Right. Of like, yeah, no, if you go do your, they're like, yeah, we noticed you drive this circle like pretty frequently. Yeah. Pretty fast. <laughs> just my track. Yeah, so go, I just replace vacuum lines. I yeah, have to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Officer, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I just put a new turbo on. Right. And I needed to test it. That was like when I got pulled over oh, in my yeah, Audi. Yeah, yeah, And I was like, I just put a new exhaust on. Like, I just want to hear wanted, it. I just want to hear I'm it. Sorry. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. Yes. But no, it's so my two things. One, as for me and my house, we will stick with regular license plates. Metal plates. Um, but I want analog plates. Or only. if we're going to do this, we're going to get like, like at some point, I'm sure the whole like just get a ticket in the mail or just get it yeah. direct deposit or whatever. Like I'm sure that's take all going to be. Nah, I'm sure it's going there at some point. Is like yeah. that's we'll going to be integrated. way more regulated. Yeah. If we're going to do that, the only way that I think, whatever you want to run down that route, you have to normal like make doing motorsportsy things in like responsible ways more acceptable. Like not make it a weird, like encourage more of that to like get people's right. stuff out there because it feels like like in the world of like lawyers and liability and all this other stuff like the the parking lot events the things like that have kind of been frowned upon of like oh, yeah. it's irresponsible use your car or whatever but it's right. like okay but either either it's gonna be i'm gonna go find a track locally like in mexico <laughs> or like there will be no more mexico yeah i know like Mex- test your car <laughs> mexico is no longer <laughs> yeah. um but it's it's like you have to have more like local car clubs and like encourage yeah. that almost so there's like responsible ways to enjoy it it's almost or, like they'd have to go back to like the police blocking off streets I was just gonna to do say drag racing just gonna stuff. say that like you'd have to go back to that time when um they're like okay we're gonna let this section now whatever like okay your tracking is off now have fun in this area or whatever yeah <laughs> do right. that but well, okay, so now that being how, said, I'm not good with this at all. Yeah, right. But like, okay, if, if we're it's gonna, gonna happen, if we're yeah. going there, yeah, let well, me enjoy it. Somewhere. How long is it gonna take until the first person hacks it and turns off all the tricks? Like, say they <laughs> say they go, all right, this Did is the new license plate. License yeah. plate. Where like, are we living? <laughs> this is the this is the new license plate. Everybody has to use. Yeah, and like we can track your speed. We can send you tickets. Yeah, whenever. Yeah, I'm like, sure they're gonna say it that clearly. <laughs> it's really great for the driver. It's really yeah, helpful. right. <laughs> Saves waste and yeah. whatever, but immediately there's going to be someone oh, who yeah. comes up with a, a, whatever especially if it's hardwired to your car yeah like your tune is not only going to like tune your engine and everything it's going to like shut off mm. it have to either shut off or like Weird. down regulate the tracking yeah where like it'll max it, right. it'll only ever report that you're going the speed limit or something right even if you're doing whatever <laughs> <Two> under <laughs> yeah so th- there'll be hacks for it just like yeah and en- i mean even modern engines like you have to like quote unquote jailbreak them Right. Before you tune them. That's like, true. I remember that. Well, when mine the has new... to like fake the engine light and stuff too. Like, right. It's all that. Well, stuff. yeah, even in like the Subaru. Yeah. But like with new cars, you know, the computers are so much better. Yeah. I remember hearing that when the new Super first came out, mm. it was like when the first person cracked the code of the ECU. Weird. To be able to all like get yeah. in there and edit it, yeah. tune it and stuff. That was like kind of a big deal. Weird. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. This stuff's so all. It'll be the same thing. Yeah. It'll be the same. Just with your Who, license plate. So it'll be a hoon? felony. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's actually. Yeah. Cause it's federal property. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's not. Yeah. yeah person. Yeah. But anyway, so that's coming. Hopefully not here, but it's a thing yeah. in some of the states. But for those of you guys, if anybody's in the state that has this, I saw it on there. It was California. California yeah. sucks for cars anyway. So well, California has it. It looked like there was a couple East Coast states that do. Um, Michigan does. Uh, I think. Illinois might have been. I don't remember. But if you're in any of the states that do have it, and if you guys have looked into it personally, send us a message. We'd love to hear like what you think about it, how it's been pitched to you, 
um, mm-hmm. what that looks like. Yeah, I'd be curious how people were pitched on it if it's in yeah. your state. In, yeah. in California, I don't think it's mandatory. No, no, it's, it's not like mandatory available. anywhere. It's oh, a okay. thing that you can do. And I think yeah. you have to pay a little extra to get it. Mm-hmm. It is kind of cool, like, especially if you've got a Tesla. Like That's kind of a cool it's electric kind of flex. license plate. It is kind of a little cool bit. thing. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Yeah. So, And all this stuff was talking, Like, to be fair, the concerns about it were all looking fu- towards the future on if this became a mandatory thing. What does that look like now? Is there any different right. things that come along with it? But um, but we'd love to hear from you guys. Like if, if anybody has looked into it for their car, if they've seen it denounced in the state, how is it being presented to you at the DMV when it comes time to renew? Mm-hmm. Um, what does that all look like? Because yeah, that that'd part be makes me curious. Well, it, it's like as soon as it comes out, say it comes mandatory. Yeah. As soon as it becomes mandatory, it's going to be hackable. Yep. And then like people are going to figure out like a little switch for it mm-hmm. where you can just like shut off your license plate number. Yeah. And then just go rip right? through places right? and just have your license plate off yeah. so nobody can see what it is. Right. Or change it. Yeah. You can like switch yeah. between license plates and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's true. So it's not like your true plate. Yeah. Like that's the one thing that's nice about a physical plate. Right. Is like you can't as easily edit it. Right. Like if you're going to steal you're a car a or whatever. Plate on. Yeah. yeah. You got to be like, it's not a quick thing. Gotta right. Get back to that. Good. So we're enabling criminal activity now, Zach. This is wonderful. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's why we're we like, can't so have what the plates. We need is- <laughs> yeah, that's why we can't have the plates. Right. Right. It's criminals. Yeah, we can't. We need to stick with regular plates. Yes. Safer. Uh, for safer the, for everybody. For the people. Think about the children. <laughs> California. California. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's them pushing it, but. <laughs> yeah. This, it is. It is California. We need to back off a little. Hey, quick note for everybody watching. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> it is. We're gonna call it. <laughs> we're gonna call this one. Walk around a little bit. Right. Get the, we're just like I don't know if we're dripping, but yeah. I'm sure we're glistening a little yeah. bit more than yeah. usual. <laughs> yeah, our hair is like all gross and stuff. But yeah. this isn't a hair podcast. It's a car podcast. <laughs> we're all these, a car. all these hot topics we're talking about. Got all these hot takes. It's getting warm in here. But anyway, on that, you know what you don't get warm in is our t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, that he's cut that. Yeah. No, he's he, every other part of him super warm. Like I, I'm over here drenched yeah. in this not third pedal podcast Waist t-shirt. Down, wet. No, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. Um, Waist up, fresh, <laughs> fresh to death, <laughs> feeling fresh great. To, <laughs> but anyway, thirdpedalpodcast.com. Check it out. Get sweet shirts. Get sweet hats. Yep, all that jazz. We've been super appreciative of all the orders coming in yes and see I, i'll check you know go well, through the email every once in a while i'll see stuff rolling and yeah like, or people just like sending us videos like we just got that one to the guy i think he's just on a road trip but he like he's taking a video of himself and he had this is my garage shirt on yeah and super he had some grease stains on there and a comment and this is like hey what's the, actually what's the story i meant to tell you this yeah i'm pretty sure i saw someone out in the wild with a, this is my garage shirt really i like didn't quite catch it where but it was at a quick trip that's and awesome. I just like went inside, came back out. Yeah. And there was this like, uh, what do you call it? A donk? <laughs> is that, oh, is that yeah, those, yeah, like, yeah. Big Cadillac yeah. with like, it was sick. Yeah. Paint matched wheels and everything. Okay. Like okay. 25s, like huge, yeah, huge yeah. wheels. And um, it was just sitting there idling. Music was blasting. Yeah. And I just like happened to like notice it as I was walking. It was like yeah. behind another car. Yeah. And I like looked at it and I was like, I must have made a face or whatever. Okay. And then I looked in front of me and there was this kid in his car. Yeah. And he was like making the same face looking at it. Okay. And then we like looked at each other, you yeah. know, like. And you were like, oh. Hey. Like nonverbal appreciation of a car. Yeah. Kind of thing. Cool. And then as I walked past him, I saw, and he had a seatbelt on, but yeah. he had the white shirt with the black text. And Interesting. I, like, I think it was. Interesting. The, and then he like, he like did a double take at me and then like. Oh, weird. I don't know. Kind of yeah, yeah. like, looked at me like, I think I might know who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Interesting. So if that was you, what's up? And what a... Thanks for wearing our stuff. Yeah, send us a message. Cool. We'll send you stickers and stuff. Share with your friends. Yeah. Check out uh, thirdpedalpodcast.com if you guys want a shirt. Um, if you want to just support us, shirt Zach's wearing right now is great. If you want something for the garage, we've got the This Is My Garage shirt. Again, yeah, lifetime warranty. Got some cool stuff. Different to colors dirty. and designs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but check it out. We really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, we're going to get out of this car now because it's freaking hot. But anyway, yep. have a good one. We'll catch you next week. Peace. Welcome to the car. <laughs> that looks comfy. <laughs> Caro. Ricardo. <laughs> one episode inside a car. Inside a but car. because it's us, we couldn't do it. I shouldn't do that. So much shake than <laughs> the I did car that. just <laughs> <laughs> heard things creaking. Um, this may turn into our own fail video to react to. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> this might falls. be a make it or break it. Wait yeah. till the end to find yeah. out. Just, <laughs> <laughs> My neck hurts so bad. <laughs> Dude, mine too. <laughs> the things that we do for you guys. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're out.
asking about the shirt thing, but I'm serious. Here's the thumbnail. It's us digging ourselves out of the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>